And we're back at it like a savage hat. And she's in the cut. What's good with y'all, man? What's good with y'all? So today we're going to be playing Stolen Realms. Um, this is a early access game that is on Steam. Um, got it for me and like I've been kind of messing around with it. I've seen some YouTube videos online of people playing this and uh, you know, people are very much interested in the game. Um, for me, I, I'm pretty good. <laughs> I'm pretty freaking solid. Uh, so diving right into it to kind of show you what this game is about. This is a top-down RPG game in which you make your own character and set skills and then see how far you can get in the world. Now, the game is normally for six people, so you play with six people at a time. The mobs are scaled for six people, but they have less health and damage depending on how many people you have. But like you normally are fighting a crap ton of mobs, and it always kind of feels like it's unfair unless you're playing on like a really easy difficulty. Um, but today I will be playing on the hardest difficulty on Stolen Realms and seeing if I can do it with just one character. So this is kind of my challenge to myself and what I'm trying to do. Okay, so um, I'm going to start this game mode with being Frost, and I'm going to go with uh, Frost Armor, Frost Shard, and then Frost Nova. So those are the three skills that I'm going to choose to start the game with. I'm going to max my might. I'm going to increase my intelligence and my vitality. So here's what these attributes do. <clears throat> might allows me to deal more damage. The more might you have, the more damage you'll deal. Dexterity is for like um, critical hits and movement on the map. Vitality is your health. Intelligence is your mana pool, right? And then reflexes is your dodge. Now, some people would think that like, oh yeah, you should be doing more with dodge. But trust me, it's it's not it's not as good as you think. <laughs> it's not as good as you think. I've tested it multiple times and I haven't had a good run running like high reflexes yet. But I have, I do have a buddy who's played it and claims like it, it was really good for him. It just hasn't worked for me yet, and it doesn't, it doesn't seem that comp. But I do have some ideas, so I'm gonna go ahead and make my character real quick. It should take me just a couple of seconds. Character creation isn't too long, you know. Give him a nice beard, make that black, and then make it say red, because you know we Red Nation. There we go. I'm gonna go ahead and name the character Red Nation, and off to the races we go. So you get your choice of starting weapons, two-handed axe, a short bow, and a staff. I'm going to go ahead and go with a staff. Okay, so as you can see, I have multiple characters that I've made, right? And I've tested a bunch, and I've lost a lot. Every single character is hardcore, meaning that if the character dies, he don't come back. All right, so if you die for any reason or whatever, he gone forever. Now, this game has tons of difficulties, right? Casual, adventure. Adventurer, classic, veteran, torturous, right? Heart of the Realm. Um, Heart of the Realm is really like you're you're here to just cause yourself pain. Like you you like dying. Like that's <laughs> you know what I mean. Borderline. Like your your character is suicidal. You know what I mean. Like it's it's really it's really it's really busted. Um, the mobs they have special effects and abilities, and everything is harder. And there's more mobs on the field. They have more health. It's just really gross. But the trade-off is you get more loot and more experience for everything you do. So you level up a little faster. That means you can get stronger. But it's still a lot of strategy involved. You can't just go in blind. So um, to play on Heart of the Realm, what I would recommend for you guys that's not doing this kind of challenge that I'm doing um, is get on another easier character that you've leveled already and go to your stash box. Right, go to your stash box and equip any items that you may have collected and sent to your stash because it's linked to your account. So even though your character dies, for example, I can send this short sword to my stash box. Right? I'm not gonna do that, but I can I can. Right? Um, as you can see, I'm level one, I have zero gold, I don't have anything, and I'm starting naked. I, I'm not going to have any any anything that can give me an edge on doing the heart of the heart of the realm. I'm going in just me, big dolo. Big flexing, I'm gonna try to figure it out. All right, so right off rip, this uh, as you guys can see that the map is shaped like a uh, kind of like a chessboard, um, and you can see that there's something for me to do here. I gotta interact with these bears. It's red, which means it's gonna be combat. Uh, when you first start a quest, the first thing you have to do is combat. Now, combat is the scariest thing in the game because it can be really good depending on where they where they place you, or it can be really fucked up. Okay, for example, 
This is a great example, right? They've started me here. As you guys can see, there's a bunch of crows. I got a big bear, another big bear. So this is 120 health a piece right here on this bear. I got some foxes, some mountain lions. I'm basically being attacked by all of the magical animals from the Disney, from the Disney movies. Um, so we're just going to go ahead and try to kill this bear cub. We do manage to kill the bear cub. Awesome. I'm going to, hmm, I'm just going to walk down. No need to activate frost shield yet. I want to see which way they're coming from. And it looks like they're all just kind of moving. Okay, this is actually perfect. There's no, they, they can attack me from there? What in the bullshit? Okay, ooh, that was a, I should have put frost shield on. I did not realize they can reach me from there. Okay, so right off the rip, I'm going to AOE. I should kill all of them. Ah, okay, I'm blinded. That's not, that's not finna, okay. Okay, um, this is probably bad. I'm going to go this way. And as you guys can see, this this game is super unforgiving. So it doesn't it doesn't care that I made a mistake and miscalculated how far they can move, right? Like the game don't give a damn. Oh. <laughs> All right, so I have this move up. I don't want to waste it on like a yeah. Let me kill the fox. Get a scroll. Dodge. Well then, fun. All right, so we got this frost armor on. We're just gonna use that to kind of like deal some damage back. So frost armor, whenever, whenever I choose to um, get attacked and they're like rushing me like the way they're doing right now and they hit me, I deal damage back to them. This is running any form of armor early game is going to be how you guys are going to be successful here. I don't suggest trying to trying to out maneuver or out fight the mobs in any other way, facet or form. This is how you, this is how you should do it. Um, I don't care if it's fire, lightning, or whatever. Do it like that. As you can see, big boy damage here. Um, I'm just gonna go down right here. Uh, and yeah, we're doing we're doing a great freaking job. First first try. Do I do I die here? No, I'm good. I'm good. All right. So as you can see, I'm running low on mana, right? Um, but I need a health potion. <laughs> so we're gonna pop this health potion. No attack of opportunity on this thing, so we're just gonna move. I'm going to cast. He only has three health, so I'm gonna cast on him, and I'm gonna try to get to this 15% health pot. Um, let them attack me and let them hurt themselves is kind of what I want them to do. Cast that so he can just stay away from me. All right, that's perfect. I gained some mana back. I can at the very least re-add my shield. Okay. Now we actually have some options here. Um, I can cast Frost Nova on them immediately, or I can run down. Oh, I should probably stop moving. I'm taking freaking bleed damage. Uh, I'm going to just put Frost Nova on. I need to stop moving. I'm freaking killing myself. I don't think they kill me here, though. No way, no way they do 40 damage. Okay. They almost did 40 damage. That's the crazy thing. Okay. And I didn't kill him. I have zero mana left. Can no longer move. Ugh, this is going to be close. And then literally the one that was supposed to die when he hit me didn't freaking die. Okay. So I don't think this kills me here. I think I win this. I do think I win this. I don't have any mana, but I do think I win. Maybe not. Okay, we're going to recast Frost Armor. This is like close. Okay, I dodged. I dodged. I didn't kill him. I'm trying to save mana here. This may be a bad call. Fuck it, we're just going to swing it again. We hit him. Okay, awesome. So as you guys can see, not an easy fight. Really just kind of like skin of my teeth trying not to die but hey look because we're playing on the hardest difficulty we ha we have been rewarded with two wands um and they both they both are wands of cold um it's completely rng so just because i chose to go cold they could have easily given me like a different kind of wand but whatever they give two uh three intelligence a piece and three vitality so it makes me significantly tankier it gives me more mana back so that's just kind of like awesome I don't know why it's still showing me like I got a freaking cane in my hand. 
Oh, because it's a staff. That's why. It's not a wand. I'm tripping. Okay. So, we have options, right? Because this is an open world kind of pseudo thing, um, we can choose to go the battle route and go fight some more enemies, right? Or we can do events. Now, here's where the game gets kind of interesting, right? Your level of choice in what, in what goes on inside the game is entirely up to you, and it's really freaking cool. So, what I mean by that is, as you can see, like, I'm doing a little mini game real quick to get some fish, right? Um, you can use that, like, the materials and stuff you can, like, give you potions. That gives me intelligence bonus. This is called an event, all right? So, with events, you read the event, right? And potentially, you can get something known as, like, uh, fortunes. I call them, like, boons, right? And they give your character permanent bonuses. So, for example, this is a great example, right? A giant limestone obelisk tower um, overs you, right? Drawn into the center is a mysterious white room emanating magical power, right? Activate the blessing. Press the palm of your hand on uh, upon the hop obelisk, right? And this gives you three intelligence, right? Or I can draw the energy and heal myself. I'm actually going to go with the intelligence, um, I have potions, right? I don't need to heal myself right now. So do that, right? And as you can see, I now have this rune that I put on myself. And the more events that I do, the higher the chance of me getting more runes and more kind of like special abilities and traits. And it's not guaranteed. And sometimes you have to roll for them. Sometimes you take damage if you fail the roll. So it's, it has a little bit of RNG to it. It's not always just here, have this cool thing. Sometimes you have to do things for it. I did, I've done some events where, in which I had to fight people for it. Um, so right here, right? A mysterious elf stands before a, a, a glimmering crystal ball. She stares into the crystal and greets you without looking up. Welcome, hero. I have been expecting you. I, the wondrous fortune teller, shall grant you a gift. Look into the crystal ball and see your future. So look, this is a perfect example of what I was just saying, right? She can give me elemental power, right? She can give me endurance, which gives me more health. Or she can give me physical damage, right? I want elemental power. But the problem is... I can become reduced fire resistant by 25 for stack. I get frost and shock. So basically, I'm going to get every single elemental debuff if I fail the roll. Now, I'm just going to roll it. As you guys can see, Red Nation is trash. So went ahead and failed that, right? So give me all those debuffs, please. That's probably going to get me killed later. But whatever. That's, that's how that works, right? And what I do next, go to the next path. It was between hard battle and a normal battle. Not interested in doing a hard battle at this point in time. So what I'm going to do is just a normal, and I don't even think I'm going to survive this, right? Because I got all these debuffs on, but we'll see. Okay, so off rip. Oh, yeah, they on. They on dick. Okay. There's, why do I have to fight bandits, though? Okay, so bandits, <laughs> bandits are tough. They're tough opponents. I'm going to cast this. I'm going to put this on myself. Pop a healing pot what i'm what i'm hoping to do is kind of kite and let them hurt themselves kite and let them wins wash repeat um you see like they're hitting me i, I kind of need to close the gap it's taking so much damage already gonna move back they didn't put no bleeds on me yet so realistically i need like mana oh i'm dead here dog 100 percent, i'm dead there's no way i survive I can, can I kill? If I move up one, can I? I just need to survive one more round and I don't think I can. Oh, I survived the middle. Oh, that's clutch. Last healing part. Okay. I gotta make this round freaking count. So, we're gonna put on frost armor because we don't have all right, cool. And we're just gonna we're gonna kill two of them, and then I'm gonna run this way. Let's go. Kind of forcing them to have to come towards me. Try to limit how many people can attack me. Cause that means they need to create a better line of sight to get to me. I don't have any more health pots. I have mana pots. No more health pots. Um, I think I wanna go this way. I don't think he can see me, which means you have to like cut inside here, don't you? He does. Awesome. More turn and I can pop a mana pot. Yo, there's no fucking way. There's no way. He can shoot me from there. Oh my god. Gang, this is bullshit. 
All right, well, <laughs> I fucking tried it, chat. <laughs> I fucking tried it. Because this is on hardcore difficulty, my character's dead. He's gone forever. All right, but I think this is a good ending point for today's video. Um, I guess I'll try it again later. Um, but tell me what you guys think of the of the game in the comments below. Is it cool? Is it interesting? Is it just another one of those random games that Red Nation plays that nobody knows? Who knows? Leave it down in the comments. Um, make sure you guys hit the like button and subscribe. We are on the grind to 10,000 subscribers and we're really close, right? By really close, we're 3,000 away, but I mean, close enough, right? We can keep, we can keep subscribing, keep liking up the streams, keep liking up the videos, blessing me up. This has been your boy Red Nation, man. Stay up, stay blessed, stay toxic, y'all. Stay fucking toxic.